the J-Hook Magic. I'm Jess. Thank you so much for coming and stumbling along my channel and wanting to hang out with me. I truly appreciate it. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. How art thou? How art thou? I hope all is well. If you haven't already and you'd be ever so kind to please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos have been posted. If it's not your first time here, welcome back! My yarny friends, so excited you are here. Boop -a doo. It is wearable Wednesday. Wearables. So this is um just me trying to get better at wearables, cause who doesn't want to wear cute crochet items? Uh Heather started this back in January because she wanted to get uh, better at wearables also and I'm like yeah me too that's a great idea so she let me join her and then um Teresa from strings and no oh my lord <sighs> okay Teresa from Critters Crochet Heather is from strings and threads Teresa is from Critters Crochet okay she has joined us as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, can you tell it's been a week? <laughs> and it's only Wednesday. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we come on every Wednesday and just show what we're making, uh, what wearables that we are making. There's no time crunch. There's no um specific pattern or anything we're just crocheting what we want and it's amazing i'll have everybody um those two ladies down in the description box uh please go to their channels check them out they are doing amazing things heather is working on a knitted uh top which kudos to her and i can't wait for um like i can't wait for her to finish so i could see it on her because it is working up so beautiful um and I know Teresa is doing the uh, crystal from Hook That Yarn, her top-down uh, crochet pattern, which I made, which is underneath Genevieve here. And um, it's amazing. And she switched up the stitches and the colors, so I can't wait to see how that works up. So, I made uh, this Halloween... Uh, hexagon card what is my problem today <laughs> oh my god it's like as soon as I hit record I don't know I go blank anyway I made this hexagon uh cardigan and this pattern is from Jenna at Jenna stitches uh where she does um it's like you start off with a regular granny stitch granny stitch and then go to like a solid granny stitch and then back to the granny stitch and then the solid. I think she calls it like granny to solid. Heck, I don't, I, it'll be down in the description box. Amazing. Excuse me. Oh my God, this is going to be a bad video. Amazing pattern. Whipped up really quick. And um, I love it. But I'm like, it needs something need something so I made pumpkin pockets I just have not had a chance to put them on yet I just really got to sew them on but I don't know if you could see but it'll be like so ah, it's gonna look so cute wear that trick-or-treating so I got my pockets done just need to sew them on. Hopefully I'll have time and I can show you that next week. Um, also yesterday, I, on my lunch break, I started another hexagon uh, cardigan. But this one I'm not making a cardigan. I'm actually going to make this as a pullover. Um, I, I seen this from... Um, Kelsey at Passionate Crochet, Passionate, 
oh man it'll be down in the description box but it's like this but you connect the the front and the back and it becomes like a pullover so i've done the cardigans before i've never done like the pullover so i'm excited for that not excited to be working in all black but thank god it's with a big hook and you know it works up quick so i mean i did this this much on my lunch break so i'll bring this to work with me and finish that or not finish but you know work on that and oh, excuse me one second okay i get more coffee in me i made uh crystal from bag o'day she put out these cat ear hats I made them in the sparkly yarn that I had left over from uh, the wristlets that I made for Things We're Making Thursday. <clears throat> such an easy, such a, such a simple pattern, right? It looks like just a square. You're like, I don't get it. But then when you put it on, you look like a kitty cat. I don't look good in hats, so don't mind me. But, meow. I just think this is the most adorable thing ever. <laughs> um, so I have two of those in the sparkly yarn. I thought that would look cool. Um, I might make some in just regular black yarn. Um, I have white sparkly yarn and a gray. I don't know. I just think the sparkly just gives it a little, you know. Oh, it's just so cute. Um, I have a craft fair coming up in October, October 14th. And I figured I would make a few of these to sell because, you know, who doesn't want a cat hat? <laughs> I think it's cute. Um, so I'm going to make some of those, bring some of my bags. Um, I have some... I'm a groomy stuff that uh, didn't sell at the last one, so I'm going to bring those. Oh my god, I just I don't have time for everything. <laughs> this work gets in the way. Arr. But anyway, so I will also have the link for this down in the description. I mean, it's super simple. It's just you go round and round, like in a square. You uh, You sew it up. And you have a hat, and you're a cat. Or you're Batman. I'm Batman. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I have for my Wearable Wednesday. Um, hopefully, next week I will have the pocket sewn on to show you. Oh, now I got yarn fuzzies flying everywhere. Um, yeah, I'll have the pockets on to show you. I'll show you how much further I got on the other hexagon one. And if I make any more of these hats or any other kind of hats. I don't know. So, if anyone's done a, a, a craft fair lately, what was like a, like a big selling? Like, what were people looking for? Just curious. Okay, so I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and uh, I'll hook up with you later. Bye! <laughs>